Hi everyone, today we're down at Royal Perth Yacht Club here in Perth, Western Australia. I'm on board this amazing Fury 32 called Blue Yonder 2. This boat has just been repowered with a brand new FPT NEF 450 marine engine, derated down to 350 horsepower at 3000 RPM. Today we're going to take this boat out for a sea trial and we can't wait to show you how she goes. So the Fury 32 don't have a particularly tall engine room, so it's really important with these boats that we do ensure that the engine sits down really nice and low within the hull. It has the advantage of keeping the centre of gravity incredibly low and ensuring that we can keep this nice flat deck. This here is the FPT NEF 450 marine engine. A 6.7 litre motor, inline six cylinder displacement, and you can see just how much room we have within this engine room and the fact that it does stay underneath the floor uh, level within this boat. So you can see it's a bit strange in these. These are a remote V-drive vessel. Therefore, the engine is about face with the front of the motor facing the stern of the boat. There is a short carton shaft which connects into the remote V-drive gearbox which is just underneath me here. As a result, the exhaust actually needs to run the other way. So here is a custom exhaust mixer, which instead of pointing the normal way, rearward on the engine, swings around and it's a direct five inch run out the back of the boat. Not actually noisy at all in regards to running a direct five inch pipe straight through the stern of the boat. They've got a lovely note in their 6.7 litre motor. Single turbocharged here. You can see as we swing around here a bit more, you can see we've got our sea strainer here and a very short run of uh, seawater inlet piping through to the seawater pump. Uh, boost air piping runs on a really short run straight down here, directly into our intercooler and straight into the motor. So really, really simple and short run and that allows a lot of room in such a tight engine room around the motor. This engine here has been put on flexible anti-vibration mounts and located down at four mounts around the motor. And again, there's absolutely no vibration at all on this engine all the way from idle up to the achieved 2400 RPM. The electronics you can see under here, you can see here we've got our ECU, our CAN bus converter and our relay box mounted nice and neatly underneath as well as our primary fuel fil filter tucked in as well. So you can see here showing on the main page of the FPT Deluxe Compact control panel, we've got our engine RPM with our total engine hours and our trip hours cooling temperature, oil pressure, instantaneous fuel burn. We're only burning a litre an hour at idle. Page two gives us some more information in regards to again RPM, oil temperature of the engine, fuel temperature, engine boost pressure, battery voltage, the torque percentage, as well as our intake air temperature and our trip fuel used over a trip, which can be easily reset by resetting your trip. Also comes with an excellent night function, which you won't be able to see, but it is a black and red screen, excellent for night driving. As well as a list of faults and green lights representing that everything is okay.
Just got back from sea trials. She ran really well. This Fury 32 absolutely got up and boogied. The Nef 450 was barely working hard to achieve an incredibly comfortable 16 and a half knots at 1800 RPM, burning only 34 litres per hour fuel. That is just incredible fuel consumption for a boat like this, this 32 foot boat, weighing in at around about six tonne heavy ship. What we achieved was only 2400 RPM max. The reason being, she got so far up out of the water, it was not ideal to carry on to an any higher RPM than 2400 RPM. We actually achieved about 22 knots at 2400 RPM, so it shows you the potential of this boat if uh, any higher revs were undertaken. And it was only burning around about 50 litres an hour, achieving that 2400 RPM. Incredibly comfortable, quiet, no smoke out the exhaust. With the flexible engine mounts on this, there is no vibration through any of the rev range at all. Uh, an incredible repower using the FPT NEF 450 marine engine set to 350 horsepower, offering an incredible cruise speed, low fuel consumption, and just a really safe and reliable package to keep Blue Yonder powered for a very long time to come. Thank you very much for watching, and if you are looking, considering repowering your vessel, please don't hesitate to get in touch with THT. Thank you.